welcome you all learners in this ayurveda network series of panchakarma today in this lecture we will be discussing the overview of snehana therapy i am dr rajkala panchakshari patil head and associate department of panchakarma faculty of ayurveda B bhu in today's lecture we will discuss everything about the snehana what is the snehana what is sneha what is the classification of sneha and what are the classification of internal snehana and external uh, snehana and what is the clinical utility of snehana therapy in ayurveda practice so snehana word denotes a therapy which increase increases mainly snigdha guna that is anxious prop quality in the body snehana term used for external application of sneha snehapana stands for internal use of sneha sneha means oily substance that is oil ghee vasa or majja there is no perfect translation for the snehana or sneha in the modern literature or in the english literature that's why the word snehapana is the internal oliation or ingestion of the ghee or taila and the sneha means the oily substance substance that might be oil ghee vasa or majja so definition of sneha in ayurveda it is snehanam sneha vichandanam mardava kleda karakam the term is used to describe the process by which the qualities of oiliness snigdhata liquefaction that is vichandana softness that is mardavata and moistness that is uh, kledana are achieved in sushruta's view sneha is the prana that is sneha saro ayam purushaha pranasya sneha bhuishta sneha sadhasya bhavanti sneho hi pana anuvasana mastishka shirobasti uttarabasti nasya karnapurana gatra abhyanga bhojana bhojaneshu upayojaha that is mean by sneha in the context of or in the view of sushruta and he says the person is the essence of sneha and the vital forces within are also essence of sneha they become capable of achieving affection through sneha only so the whole our life is depend or is based on the sneha what we have in our body or the what we take in in the routine work so nowadays there is a like in modern science also the cholesterolemia is the pathological condition but in ayurveda the normal cholesterol or the sneha that is a again a sneha in ayurveda it should be there in body for the normal working so i it's not it been proven that those who are taking the atrovastatin or anti cholesterolemic cholesterolic uh, medicines what is the future of their sneha or inside the body what is happening that we are the studies has to be taken for this what sneha does in the body sneho anilam hanti mrudu karoti deham malana viniyanti sangam that's what the shodhananga sneha pana does into the in the with the body it pacifies the vata it soften the body and it removes the sangha or the connection between the uh, waste from the body properties of sneha dravya that is the guru shita sara snigdha manda sukshma mrudu dravam are the properties of sneha dravya which any dravya who, which possess this qualities that is heavy cold fluid anxious anxiousness sluggish subtle soft and liquid can be called as a sneha dravya qualities of person who takes sneha daily that's what like sushruta explained diptantaragni parishuddha koshtaha pratyagra dhatu balavarna yuktaha drudhendriya drudhendriyo mandajaraha shatayu sneho pasevi purusho bhavatu bhavatu bhavetu so this is what in previous days in ancient days we will like nowadays also those who are old age and those who are used to take the ghee in the long uh, or high dose they have this qualities of the or purusha they have such qualities but nowadays as we are not taking that much of ghee we don't have this this qualities so what are the qualities who take daily and routinely in the routine clinical practice we find that those persons who are used to the taking ghee in the larger uh, dose like the person from the rajasthan or the person from the 
Punjab or Himachal, they mostly have these qualities. There is the inner fire or metabolic energy is good. They have the digestive system that is clean and the, all the tissues are well nourished and there is the strength and healthy complexion. The senses, senses are strong and aging is low and the individual may live for a 100 years with the regular consumption of nourishing oils or sneha. So, these are the classification of sneha. Uh, it according to the origin, dose, combination and paka. In, in origin, there are two types, sour and jangama. In sour, phala and daruk, darukshata, phala and darukashta is the type of sour sneha. In jangama, dadhi, kshira, mamsa, asthi, majja, these are the origin, that is the sneha origin. And according to the dose, there are rasiyasi, raso matra, madhyam matra and uttam matra are the classification. With the combination yamaka, trivrutta and mahan is the combination of sneha. According to paka, mrudu, madhyam and khara is the classification. The uses we will see in the next slide, uh, other slides. Then classification according to the use of the sneha. Uses of sneha internally, internal and external to main classification in internal sneha pana basti nasya comes under internal uses of sneha and in external abhenga gandusha shiro basti karna purana and netra tarpana comes under external use of sneha and uses as per pack of the sneha as acharya charaka says brudu paka should be used for the nasya madhyama paka for the pana or sneha pana Kharapaka for the Abhanga and Madhyamapaka for the Basti. But Sushruta says there is the difference of opinion. Sushruta says for Nasya, Madhyamapaka should be used. For Snehapana, Mrudupaka should be used. For Abhanga, Madhyamapaka again should be used. And for Basti and Karnapurana, Kharapaka should be used. As Vagbhata take the opinion from the Charaka and Sushruta, he says for Nasya, Mrudupaka should be used. And for Pana, sneha pana and basti chikana paka should be used and for ab abhanga khara paka can be used. And Sharangdhara says mrudu paka for the nasya, madhyam paka for sneha pana and again madhyam paka for the abhanga basti and karna purana. Variations of bahya sneha as per style of administration as we use in the different clinical practice. So, retaining type are the Shiro Basti, Akshi Tarpana, Gandusha, Karna Purana and Kati Basti. There we are using the retaining type of Snehana. Pouring type in Shiro Dhara, Sneha Parishika, these are pouring type. And applying type, there is Pichu, Utsadhana are the applying type of Bahya Sneha. And massaging type that is Abhanga and Pilini Tadwal is the Bahya Sneha where we use the massaging type. Dose of Sneha. Of course, the rasiyasi is told by only Ashtanga Hrudaya where the dose digest within 3 hours of the ingestion. This is uh, told to be used where we do not know the koshtha or adhyata parikoshthasya. When we are not knowing the koshtha of the patient, then first dose should be given that is the rasiyasi. It is called as a taste dose also. And raswamatra that is the first dose which digest within 6 hours of the ingestion. Madhyamatra that is the dose of the ghee which digest within 12 hours that is called the madhyam matra and uttam matra is the dose taken taken time 24 hour for the digestion is called the uttama matra as per the basis of administration acha sneha that is the intake of pure ghee where only sneha is administered and vicharana sneha where the administration of sneha internally or externally along with various formulation is used that is Odana, Vilepi, Yavagu, Yusha and Gandusha, Nasya, Uttarbasti, Karnapurana. The Vicharana Sneha is the Sneha where it bypasses the gastric digestion or gastric phase. So, sometimes only plain ghee, plain ghee also or plain Sneha also used for the Nasya, Uttarbasti, but it is not going to the gastric phase. That is why it is it comes under Vicharana Sneha and all Achya Sneha we give it as a from the mouth only. So, it goes through the gastric phase. So, that is the main difference between the Achya Sneha and Vicharana Sneha. Coming to the indications of Vicharana Sneha, whenever there is the person is Sneha Dvishaha, Sneha Nitya, Mrudu Koshta, Shain Raha, Klesha Asaha, Madhya Nitya, Tesham Ishta Vicharana. For them, we should not go for the 
acha sneha these are the indications of vicharna sneha when whenever there is aversion to sneha they use daily alcohol users or those are madhya nitya or there is a mrudu koshta who is unable to withstand suffering of or unwelcome challenges in the life they are not because when a person takes sneha there is a typical klama is there and the patient face many physical problems that is a uh, normal only but when it is uh, during the digestion there is a the trouble patient feel the trouble in the body that's why if those who are not klesh saha they should not be eligible for the acha sneha so child old age sukumara these are the indications for vicharana sneha on the basis of relation with the food autar bhakti ka sneha when sneha is administered after meal it is indicated in the urdhva jatrukad roga like talu shosha trishna and avapida sarapi that is the sneha when it is given in middle of the meal so that means in this rasva matra is given before the food and uttama matra is given after digestion of the meal so the pidana of sneha is happening in between the two meals that is the in between the two meals that's why this is called the avapida sarapi it is indicated in the diseases of urinary system vata vyadhi and arsha so in ashtang hrudaya it is written like mutra jeshu mutra jeshu tu pane cha prag bhaktam shashyate ghritam jirnantikam cha uttamaya matra yojana dvayam avapidakam etacha sadnitam so four best, best snehas is told in the ayurveda that is ghee tail ghruta taila vasayan majja so among that ghee is told to be the best because it is the samskarasya anuvartanat it it take its own qualities and with we medicate with which drugs it carry the qualities of that drug also that's why it is called the samskarasya anuvartanat and it has special quality of adaptability it mitigates vata and pitta and it enhances voice quality strength complexion intelligence memory those who desire for longevity should take the ghee for the longer duration tatra dhi smruti medhadi medhadi kankshinam shashyate ghrutam and ghee classification as per the years that there is a references for purana ghruta pra purana ghruta in the ghruta in the uh, chikitsa of unmad apasmara so what is the concept of years and ghruta is 0 to 1 year till 1 year it is called the navagrita after 1 year it is called the purana grita this again classified under further like from 1 to 10 years it's called the purana grita 11 to 100 years called the pra purana grita and 101 to 110 years it called kumbha kumbha grita and after 110 years it called as a maha grita taila among this four special uh, snehas taila which pacifies the vata and kapha it is having krimigna property and it is garbhasha garbhasha shodhana is the main quality of taila and bhagna sandhana kara nadi varana for krura koshta it is indicated for the krura koshta those who desire the strength that is the speciality of taila granthi nadi krumi shleshma medo maruta rogishu tailam dar laghav darde harti krura koshteshu dehishu so where to use vasa vasa is for वसा तो संधि अस्थि मर्म कोष्ठ रुजा शुच तथा दग्ध आहत भ्रष्ट योनि कर्ण शिरो रुजि दोज हु आर एबल टू टॉलरेट विंड एंड सनलाइट आर ओनली इंडिकेटेड फॉर वसा इमेजिटेड बाय वेट लिफ्टिंग एंड क्वाइटस और एक्सेसिव वॉकिंग आज आर इंडिकेटेड फॉर वसा स्नेहा एंड दोज हु हैव डिक्रीज सीमेन एंड ब्लड आर इंडिकेटेड फॉर द वसा स्नेहपाना और स्नेहपाना विद वसा देन मज्जा दिस इज फॉर द बोथ वसा एंड मज्जा द time of administration is madhavarutu those who can tolerate trouble or having krura koshta and those who are desire for the bala bala shukra mamsa asthi vardhana so vata atap adva bhara stri vyayama kshina dhatu shu ruksha klesha kshama atyagni vata vruta patheshu cha is indicated for the vasa and majja so coming to the internal sneha pana so ashtanga hrudaya defines or classify the internal snehapana in simple three types that is shamana shodhana and druhana according to the purpose of snehana dose of sneha snehapana time of administration and duration of 
स्नेहपान सो शमना लाइक शमन शुद्वतो अनन्यो मध्य मात्र से शशते वेरी ब्यूटिफुली ही एक्सप्लेन लाइक शमना इज द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ स्नेहा आफ्टर गेटिंग द एपिटाइट और प्रीवियस डे फूड गेट डाइजेस्टेड एंड पेशेंट इज नॉट इज हैविंग एपिटाइट एंड द डोज शुड बी मॉडरेट और मध्यम मात्रा इज गिवन फॉर द शमन स्नेहपाना एंड शोधना हस्ते ने जीर्ण एवान ने स्नेहो अच्छा शुद्ध बेहू मीन्स प्रीवियस डे फूड शुड बी गेट डाइजेस्टेड एंड पेशेंट शुड नॉट बी मोर हंग्री दैट टाइम द उत्तम मात्रा शुड बी गिवन एम टी स्टमक दैट इज कॉल्ड द शोधन शोधन स्नेहपाना एंड ब्रह्मना इज रस मध्यादेही स भक्तो अल्पहा इन द स्मॉल डोज शुड शुड बी गिवन अलॉन्ग विद द फूड इज कॉल्ड द ब्रह्मण मात्रा ऑफ स्नेहा रिलेशन ऑफ ब्रह्मण स्नेहा विथ फूड इफ वी वेन वी देर आर द रीजन्स वेन टू गिव द स्नेहा विथ फूड सो बिफोर मिल इट गिव स्ट्रेंथ टू द बैक थाइज एंड पेलविस इट डू द वातानुलोमना एंड इट क्यूअर द डिसीजेस ऑफ लोअर लोअर लिम एंड वेन वी गिव द स्नेहा मिडल ऑफ द मिल इट एनहांसेज द अग्निबला इज इट गिव स्ट्रेंथ एंड स्टैबिलिटी एंड इट रिड्यूसेज द पेन इन द एबडोम एंड वेन वी एडमिस्टर घी आफ्टर मिल इट एनहांसेज द स्टैबिलिटी ऑफ सेंस ऑर्गन एंड इट क्यूअर्स द डिसऑर्डर्स ऑफ हेड एंड नेक इंडिकेशन्स ऑफ स्नेहपाना दोज हू आर फिट फॉर द स्वेदना और सुडेशन and those who are indicated for shodhana the elderly person or the child those who do not exercise who think more addicted to alcohol intake and those who are having vata vyadhi and those who are having olig- oligospermia anemia are indicated for the snehapana and those and what are the contraindication of sneha snehapana having indigestion vomiting diarrhea अकाल प्रसुरता आर दोज फीमेल्स हू डिलिवर्ड एट इन प्रॉपर टाइम आर कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड फॉर स्नेहना रुक्षणार दोज हू आर फिट फॉर रुक्षणा दीज आर दे आर इन दि कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड फॉर स्नेहना फर्स्ट रुक्षणा शुड बी डन इन सच पेशेंट स्थूला और ओबेज उदर हैविंग उदर रोगा और असाइटिस दोज हू हैव अंडर गॉन द नस्य बस्ती और विरेचना आर कॉन्ट्राइंडिकेटेड फॉर स्नेहना सो सीजन फॉर स्नेहा द शरद फॉर इफ the ghee is indicated it should be given in the sharada or autumn if taila is indicated it should be administered in the pravrut and vasa majja should be given in the madhava or the month of march vata pitta vishated and in summer season the snehapana should be given in the night time and whenever there is kapha vishated and in winter season it should be given in, in the day time so coming to the dose of sneha according to the sushruta the Three hours dose, three hour dose or dose of the sneha which digest within three hours, it does the agni dipti and it should be used for the alpa dosha. And the six hours dose, it it is the vrusha in property and the madhya mad it is it should be used for the madhya mad dosha. And when we give the sneha for the nine hours, it is having quality of brahmana and it should be used in the bahu dosha. And when we are administering the ghee for twelve hours dose. it is having the snehaniya property and it should be used in the glani murcha and mada and when we give ad, uh, sneha which take 24 hours to digestion sushruta says it is the poojaniya matra and it should be used in the kushtha visha unmada and apasmara diseases according to charaka he simply re- classify the dose of the sneha in three doses only that is uttam matra madhyam matra and raso matra uttam matra he says it rejuvenate body and it should be used in the gulma snake bite visarpa unmada and mutrakrishcha and madhyam matra it should it is the it should be used for the shodhana and the dose uh, the indications are kushtha vatrakta arushka sphuta pidaka and kandu and the raswa matra it is brahmaniya or balya matra it should be used in the jwara atisara and kasa diseases so practice of snehapana the what we practice nowadays or in the panchakarma practice it is the vardhamana krama or it can say as a arohana krama which is classically different described in the vangasena that is of 12th ad otherwise in charak sushrut vagbhata only the मेन मात्रा इज गिवन दैट इज उत्तम मात्रा मध्य मात्रा एंड रसो मात्रा द आरोहन क्रमा इज डिस्क्राइब बाय द वंगसेना सो कोस्ट असेसमेंट 
in for all the panchakarma koshta assessment is very very important so but in sneha pana we assess the koshta twice first by history taking and second by during the sneha pana or in the sneha pana procedure so when the patient is having krura koshta it is of course the vata pradhanata is there the time taken for the stool is more or frequency per day it might be one or once in a two days consistency of stool of course it is the dry or constipated and history of diarrhea there will not be any history of diarrhea patient will say uh, usually i get the constipation only so we can understand with this that patient is having krura koshta and mrudu koshta those who are having pitta pradhanta or there is madhyama kapha madhyama kapha predominance so sorry in pit, in mrudu koshta there is a pitta pradhanta time taken for the stool is very short the person who go to stool and come back within 2 to 3 minutes of course the samrudu koshta the frequency per day mostly twice the the who goes for the washroom twice a day he is having mrudu koshta and the consistency of stool always it's a liquid or semi liquid that is the having mrudu koshta and history of diarrhea they they won't get the constipation they usually have the history of diarrhea this is the this is a ideal assessment for the mrudu koshta and madhyama koshta of course kapha predominance will be there and what are the symptoms of krura and mrudu will not be there that is called the madhyama koshta the time taken for the stool will be moderate frequency per day will be regularly once consistency of stool will be soft soft stool history of diarrhea will not be there so we can consider as a madhyama koshta so here we will assess by clinical history and sometime we give the trifala or ask patient what happens if you take one cup of milk or one glass of milk if patient say i go twice then of course the samrudu koshta if the patient say there is no change it's a krura koshta and if patient says yes the softness of the stool is there that is the madhyama koshta and with sneha prakarsha also we will assess the koshta assessment so type of koshta and duration how much days the patient take for the adhasa sneha darshana or samyak sneha lakshana um uh, depend on that these are the sneha prakarsha kala in mrudutam koshta it take only one days in mrudutara koshta two days and in mrudu koshta take three days for the proper sneha pana in madhyamatam koshta it take four days in madhyamatara koshta it take five days and in madhyama koshta it takes 6 days and in krura koshta it takes 7 days for the proper lakshana of samyak sigdha lakshana and krura tara it takes 8 days and sometime in krura tama it takes 9 days so mostly charaka says like within the 7 days it gets satma so but chakrapani says like if there is a krura tama koshta we should wait or we should continue the sneha pana for the maximum 9 days sneha pana acche pana is the oral intake of medicated or non medicated sneha is required it's not like only acche in acche sneha we take the plain ghita no we usually what explain in the text is it's a it's the murchita sneha it's not ama sneha is indicated for the acche pana it should be medicated or murchita sneha the quantities for a limited time period without mixing food article other than ghee or prakshipa dravyas can be shamana or shodhana like snehapana what we can do we can do for the shamana or shodhana ye puri slide fir se karte hai okay so achhapana is the oral intake of medicated or non medicated medicated sneha in required quantity for a limited time period without mixing food article other than prakshipa dravya so in acche pana mostly we take the medicated ghee or murchita ghee or medicated oil or murchita oil nowhere in the text is told to use the ama sneha or without murchana of the sneha is not explained in the text so it can be shamana or shodhana in this sneha alone should be given in the early morning after the digestion of sneha drava pradhana ahara should be given so material required for sneha pana is sneha quantity sufficient that is mostly in sambhara sangraha we have we have to tell the patient to keep the 500 to 800 ml of sneha at a time or keep ready for the sneha pana measuring jar for the daily measurement glass 
क्लॉथ वन लेमन वन वाटर बॉइल्ड विथ चुनठी क्वांटिटी सफिशियंट कॉटन गॉज एंड मेटल टम्बलर पूर्वकर्मा इज संभार संग्रह कलेक्शन ऑफ नेसेसरी मटेरियल समटाइम वी टेक वी गिव सम पाचक द्रव्य ऑल्सो टू कीप विथ पेशेंट लाइक शुंठी चूर्णा और हिंगवाष्टक चूर्णा और समटाइम पीपली चूर्णा ऑल्सो और त्रिफला चूर्णा सो इफ देर इज एनी कॉम्प्लिकेशन दैट दे विल बी मैनेज विद दैट मेडिसिन सो दैट ऑल मेडिसिन शुड बी केप रेडी दैट इज संभार संग्रह एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट वॉट इज द अवस्था ऑफ अग्नि एंड वॉट इज द अवस्था ऑफ जीवा शुड बी असिस्ट वॉट इज द लक्षणाज ऑफ आमा शुड बी एग्जामिन एंड देन फिक्सेशन ऑफ डोज शुड बी डन हाउ मच डोज वी हैव टू फिक्स और हाउ मच घी वी हैव टू गिव इफ इज अ स्कीन पेशेंट वी वी नीड मोर घी और वी हैव टू फिक्स द डोज इन द मोर मात्रा इफ इट इज अ वात शोणिता और आम वाता द डोज ऑफ द घी स्नेहा शुड बी लेस और इफ इट इज अ चाइल्ड और ओल्ड ओल्ड एज पीपल वी नीड स्मॉल डोज सो प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द पेशेंट दैट इज द निरामावस्था आतुर परीक्षा एंड अग्नि एंड आम आम मात्रा परीक्षा व्याधि बल परीक्षा शुड बी थॉरोली डन प्रॉपर रुक्षणा इज टू बी डन विथ तक्रपाना उद्वर्तना एंड दीपना पाचना ड्रग्स दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द स्नेहपाना लाइक इफ इट इज प्रॉपर रुक्षणा इज नॉट बीन डन देर विल बी द कॉम्प्लिकेशन ड्यूरिंग द स्नेहपाना और वी आर नॉट वी आर वी विल नॉट गेट द प्रॉपर स्नेहपान लक्षण सो अष्टांग हृदय ऑल्सो सेज लाइक मांसला मेदुरा भूरी श्लेषमान स्नेहो शिता शितान पूर्व रुक्षय तथा सो प्रॉपर रुक्षणा एंड फॉर रुक्षणा ही सेज उद्वर्तना कैन बी डन और यूजली इन प्रैक्टिस वी गिव द तक्रपाना और वी गिव दिंग वी शिफ्ट पेशेंट ऑन द सिंगल डाइट लाइक खिचड़ी ओनली और मुदगयुष ओनली टू गेट द अर्ली दीपना पाचना इफेक्ट एंड अफकोर्स दीपना पाचना वी यूजली गिव स्पेसिफिक ड्रग्स फॉर द अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिज एंड सीजन एंड प्रकृति ऑफ द पेशेंट सो फर्स्ट रसीएसी मात्रा फॉर अग्नि एंड कोष्ट परीक्षा एंड फॉर एलर्जिक टेस्ट वी यूजली गिव ट्वेंटी टू सिक्सटी एम एल ऑफ रसीएसी मात्रा ऑन द प्रीवियस डे द पेशेंट शुड बी गिवन फूड दैट इज विलेपी विच इज नॉट अतिस्निग्धा और अभिशंधि द पेशेंट शुड टेक गुड स्लीप एट नाइट नेक्स्ट मॉर्निंग द पेशेंट डायजेशन मस्ट बी असिस्ट बेस्ड ऑन द लघुत्व उद्गार शुद्धि एंड वे गोत्सर्ग एक्सेट्रा आफ्टर द डेली रूटीन पेशेंट इज प्रिपेयर फॉर स्नेहपाना पेशेंट्स आईज मस्ट बी क्लोज विथ कॉटन एंड गॉज पीस इफ वी आर द काउंसिलिंग इज डन प्रॉपरली इट इज नॉट नीडेड यूजली सो इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिक्वायर्ड प्रायर टू अच्छा पाना इज ब्लड रूटीन एग्जामिनेशन सी बी सी विथ ई एस आर लीवर फंक्शन टेस्ट शुगर लेवल्स रिनल फंक्शन टेस्ट लिपिड प्रोफाइल्स बिकॉज मेनी पेशेंट्स हैज कॉन्शियसनेस दैट इफ आई एम टेकिंग दिस मच ऑफ सिक्स हंड्रेड और एट हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ घी आई मे हैव द एक्स्ट्रा लिपिड प्रोफाइल और मे हैव मोर कोलेस्ट्रॉल बट इट डजेंट हैपन वॉट एवर स्लाइट इंक्रीज इज हैपनिंग इन विथ कोलेस्ट्रॉल दैट कम्स टू द नॉर्मल विद इन नॉर्मल लिमिट ड्यूरिंग द विरेचना और ड्यूरिंग द शोधना प्रोसीजर सो देर इज नो देर शुड नॉट बी फियर ऑफ लिपिड प्रोफाइल इंक्रीज इन द स्नेहपाना यूरिन रूटीन एंड स्टूल रूटीन वाई वी हैव टू डू दिस इन्वेस्टिगेशन बिफोर स्नेहपाना देर माइड बी द चेंज ड्यूरिंग द स्नेहपाना दैट्स वाई द फिजिशियन शुड हैव द हिस्ट्री ऑफ प्रीवियस इफ अ पेशेंट इज हैविंग हायर लीवर फंक्शंस सो ही शुड नॉट प्लान द स्नेहपाना इन सच कंडीशन सो फर्स्ट द लीवर फंक्शन शुड बी कम टू नॉर्मल देन ओनली और विथ रुक्षणा इट विल कम टू द नॉर्मल सी देन ओनली द स्नेहपाना शुड बी गिवन so for this we should have the investigations done for pre- prior to snehapana then dipana pachana it should not be according to the day for 3 or 5 days till we get the nirama avastha dipana pachana should be continue internal medicines may be chosen according to the disease and availability of the medicines external procedures like udvartana bashpasveda can be done during dipana pachana days and diet should be restricted to the single diet or light diet then pradhan karma mode of administration of sneha like in the early morning we give empty stomach with warm water observation of jiryamana and jirna lakshana it is given only in ashtanga sangraha that is jiryamana lakshana when how the patient feels when the sneha is getting digested so shiro ruk brahma nishthiva murcha sad arati klamahi janiyat bheshajam jiryet the same lakshanas patient will feel during the digestion of ghee so he usually feel shiroruk headache or brahma or nishthiva 
or sometime murcha also. So, and what are the summa collection as? So, vatanulomem dipto agni varchaha snigdam asamhatam sneho dvegaha klamaha samyak sinte. So, most predominantly what patient says on samyak sinte lakshana is sneho dvega and klama. This is what the two symptoms which indicates the proper snehapana. Other things vatanulomem dipto agni, these are the symptoms which we find in the previous 3-4 days. Observation of snigda, asnigda, atisnigda lakshana, sneha vapada and their management is the pradhana karma. Doses of sneha must be decided, deciding according to the age, prakriti, health and vikriti, dosha and agnimbala. It must be in between 50 to 70 ml for the ghrita and 30 to 60 ml for the taila on the first day. As taila, usually we should take the less dose than the ghrita. It is not sanskarasya anuvartanat or it is having more ushna property. The dose for the next day should be fixed after assessing the time taken for the digestion. So, usually when we assess patient is every day evening 6 o'clock we will assess for the next day dose. Otherwise, the, uh, many physicians give the prescription with the dose on the first day of snehapana and ask patient to continue this. So, we, we never do that. We usually assess every day patient at evening 6 o'clock or 6.30. For vasa and majja, maximum 50 ml can be given. Within half an hour of sunrise, patient should be seated in a comfortable position as sneha should be given in empty stomach. After giving the sneha, if eye bandage is there, it should be removed and warm water should be given as anupana. Shunti jala can be given as we were doing practice in the Gujarat or South India or in Kerala. This was the routine practice. Then the patient should wash the face and mouth with hot water to remove the taste of sneha. Otherwise, whole day he will be feeling the nausea. When thirst occurs, hot water can be taken or same procedure is followed in the following days also. Duration snehapana must or may be continued till some the lakshanas like vatanulom and agni, agni dipti that what we discussed previously. Usually it take 3 to 7 days. If they are not seen even after 7 days, snehapana should be stopped after 1 to 3 days of rukshana, it can be started again. But if it is the krura thermakoshta, we can continue for the 9 days also. For shamana purpose, it should be continued till the symptoms subside. Post operative procedure is patient should take rest during the snehapana period, or but she should not see, she or he should not sleep during daytime. The lemon can be given for smell to avoid nausea. Warm vilepi should be given when the sneha is completely digested and good appetite occurs. So, mostly what is that uh, written is Ushnu the Kopchari Sad Brahmachari Kshapashaya Hanave Gurudhavayama Krodha Shoka Bhayatapan Pravat Yana Yana Adhva Bhasha Tyasana Sanstiti Nicha Tichopadhanaha Sopna Dhuma Rajanshisa should be explained on the first day of the Snehapana. So, these are the most important do's and don'ts during the Snehapana or in the Virechana or in the Panchakarma also. So, what precaution should be taken before starting and during the process patient should be on strict regimen. Hot and liquid diet free of fat content should be consumed and variety of recipes should be avoided. Time and season of administration should be neither too hot nor too cold and sky should not be cloudy. Anupana for ghee, it is hot water should be given after ghee. For taila, yusha should be given and for vasamajja, manda should be given. And if we are doing tuvaraka taila, normal water should be given. It should not be given with the hot water. Bhayasneha, these are the bhayasnehas which we practice like abhyangas, lepa, udvartana, padaghata, samvahana, sneha avagaha, gandusha, kavala, akshitarpana, Karnapurana, Mastishkya, Talapodichil, Murnitaila, Shrodhara, Kati Basti, Griva Basti, Janu Basti, Rid Basti. These are the all applications of Snehana. But we are not going in detail for the all procedures in this lecture. In the coming lectures, we will discuss the all external therapies of the or external applications of Sneha. With this, I thank you all for listening carefully this lecture. And I thank you Ayurveda Network for giving me this opportunity.